Right. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Rajendra sir, and all the delegates as well as the organizers for giving part to an engineer to speak in front of the doctors. Uh, as it is already said that uh, this was not included in your PG studies. Uh, we'll be happy to share some light on the autoclaving, which has been a neglected field for a very long time, but slowly it has been taking a, a good of interest. Uh, two parts. First, we'll be talking about sterilization, importance of pre-vacuum autoclaves, and then about a little wet packs. And thereafter, the second session will be right packaging options. So now, uh, to give a fair idea, basically, antibiotics have been used for a long time. And if I have seen, a lot of doctors have told that they have had no infection in past several years. That definitely could be true. Or it could be excess use of antibiotics and less of infection prevention. Basically, the infections can rise even after a year of the implants which have been placed inside the body. So in achieving overkilling of, uh, in achieving the overkilling, probably some stringent and uh, sterilization methods have been overlooked. So a lot of uh, time what happens is double sterilization is done. This is just a place where you can see the doctors asking the OT technician or the staff where you have sterilized or not. He says, I have sterilized once, that is okay. The doctor says, have you sterilized twice? Now, why is that? Because I want 100% patient safety. However, if you sterilize only once in the right way, it should be fairly sufficient. You don't need to sterilize twice. Sterilization, there are several types which are available. It is basically based on the heat sensitivity of the instruments. The most uh, varied use is basically of a steam with air removal, which is your current autoclave. That works from 110 to 134 degrees Celsius. So all the surgical instruments can be sterilized here. If you have heat sensitive instruments such as catheters or any of the other parts, they are sterilized in ETO, which is 30 to 70 degrees Celsius. We'll be talking only about these two. Plasma is a new entrant which works at 30 to 50 degrees Celsius and we'll give a short description of that also. Now what exactly is an autoclave? A chamber where you are having steam which penetrates inside to the most remotest locations. The sterilization happens only by steam and not by heat. So is your machine generating steam or only attaining temperature? This is one question to be asked. So most of the autoclaves that we have seen is this vertical one, which is called a gravity displacement sterilizer because there is no external vacuum pump. Again, a horizontal autoclave, which does not have a vacuum pump. Even this is a gravity displacement sterilizer. In these places, air is basically the enemy. If you have air, steam will not penetrate over there. So steam has to go inside, air has to get completely removed. The sterilization whole time could be around 15 to 20 minutes or more. And the total cycle time of your autoclave, if you have a vertical gravity displacement one or a horizontal one, could be around 60, 65, 70 minutes, depending on what are the contents that you have placed inside. Such kind of autoclaves generally is a result in air pockets, wet packs, insufficient drying, if you would have seen wicking on your packs, the indicators tend to fail and these are manual cycles, so it is inconsistent. So we don't say it is wrong to use a vertical autoclave, but as you're talking about future upgradations for OT tables and OT lights, slowly, slowly things are moving towards a pre-vacuum autoclave. So this is a kind of a pack which you may have say orthopedic packs. At first, this looks very beautiful. It has been packed well, it has been packaged well, it has got autoclave because it shows the strips have changed color. But on closer look, you will see that there are droplets of water. Now this is after sterilization. This is not during sterilization. It has been taken off, it has been cooled, and then you find drops of water, which is called wet pack. A wet pack ideally should never be used inside your OT. It should be autoclaved. For example, inside an autoclave itself, after the drying process is complete, if you have water, that means it is a wet pack. Now, what, why the wet pack should not be used is because if wet pack has been there and the drying has not happened, oh, sure. Water can wick inside your packs and along with the water, a lot of microorganisms and contaminants may also seep inside. That is the foreign body materials may go inside. As you can see over here, the reasons of wet packs first is overloading. This is an autoclave. A lot of trays and drums have been placed together and they have been overloaded. Due to this, steam penetration can be very difficult over here and the air removal can also be difficult. It can also happen because of improper cycle parameters. Say if your autoclave is not achieving a desired pressure and if you have a manual autoclave, wet packs may be a reason. Drying may not be happening properly. It can also happen because of autoclave component failures. Steam traps, steam quality, that we'll be discussing in the next session. 
how do you identify a wet pack if you have linen if you are using a linen linen has a tendency to absorb the water so you will not be able to see water lying on a linen however sms which is called a spun bond melt blown spun bond fabric this fabric is same as you are using for your face mask or your gown the disposable ones so this does not absorb water it has a tendency to repel water this can identify your wet packs it can also happen if you have excessive tray weight say 12 kg to 15 kg is maximum allowed universal standard if you have a 20 kg pack it will be very difficult for steam to penetrate inside now th thus the reason that if you are having a non vacuum autoclave shifting to a high pressure high vacuum plc based printer autoclave is going to be a very good uh, deal uh, upgradeation in the future uh, it has no manual errors because it is completely automatic consistent reproducible results so if your cycle time is 60 minutes you set it as 60 minutes it will only range from 58 to 62 minutes and that's all and you have complete documentation which nabh has mandated nowadays that you should have printed records ideally of whatever your cycle parameters are external vacuum pump as you can see will lead in good air removal sterilization hold time reduces so to sterilize a second lot it will be faster the hold time is between 3 and a half to 7 minutes we are talking about only the sterilization hold time when steam is doing its job the cycle time total may be around 45 minutes or 1 hour steam penetrates everywhere and it is an excellent drying for bulky pack which is important in orthopedics now uh, at first sight it may seem it is very uh, complicated and very expensive but no such kind of autoclaves actually do not require a lot of space also by 5 by 5 feet floor space you can have a good double door autoclave which can help you in your zoning also in a cssd zoning all the utilities of uh, your plumbing uh, electricity everything comes from the top so your floor space is kept vacant and the machine generally is on caster so you can move it around just in case if it is required also important while choosing an autoclave is the electrical consumption it has the water it uses it can use for between 300 liters to 100 liter of water depending on the usage a few things like when you're choosing an autoclave see the steam generator below and the chamber where you place your material if it is insulated it will result in a lot of heat being kept inside you will not waste a lot of heat the electrical consumption will reduce so such kind of things should be taken into consideration if you are choosing an autoclave still if you decide that you have a vertical autoclave and if you want to stick to it for the time being you can always upgrade in the future a few things to keep in mind sterilization assurance has to be there so that means you will have to use the chemical biological indicators even in a vertical autoclave the extended cycle time so the cycle time generally how it is said manufacturer may say that it is 35 to 40 minutes no how you choose it is you take a biggest of the pack that you have or a drum you have insert a challenging indicator inside run the autoclave and you will have to see iteratively when does your indicator pass it may pass in 45 minutes it may pass in 60 minutes so in case it passes in 60 minutes that is your minimum hold time for the autoclave according apart from that you should have regular maintenance of the autoclave do not depend on upon the manufacturers of the autoclave to supply to you the spares exactly when you require you should have this in store with you to reduce the down times down times such as the autoclave uh, gasket such as the uh, coils which are there pressure gauges should be calibrated almost each and every 6 monthly the gauges are an important part because they tell you whether the pressure has been reached or not so if it is not calibrated properly you will have wrong conditions uh distilled and ro water should ideally be used if it is favorable if it is avoid uh, avoid the heavy packs do not overload the drums now uh, there was sessions where we were talking about the drops inside the ot just in case if an instrument drops what do you do all the instruments stainless steel instruments for that matter are critical instrument which touch your vascular issues so spirit should not be used for disinfecting it nor should any high level disinfectant be used the only way is to only way is to autoclave it or eto it so eto takes a lot of time so autoclaving cycle should be used uh it is difficult in case if you have a drop in ot to get it autoclave from outside and it will take around 1 1 and a half hours so there are table top flash sterilizers which are available in the market this is kept inside the ot itself so if you have a drop you take the instrument do not wrap it you directly place it inside the autoclave the cycle runs and uh, you will get a completely sterilized instrument outside the cycle time may be less than 15 or 20 minutes there is no drying time that means it will come out wet and you will have to use it inside the ot there and there itself 
no implants can be flash autoclaved uh, it has been told by army that is advancement of medical instruments association uh, this cannot be an alternative to regular sterilization so you have to maintain your adequate packs inside the ot one way just in case say if you drop a needle holder on artery forceps needle holders can always be packed in such kind of et or autoclave pouches they can be autoclaved and their validity can be there up to one month or beyond so just in case if a critical instrument gets dropped you can have a replacement for your stock house there are different types of uh, flash autoclaves also class n which is non vacuum autoclave class b which is called a pre vacuum autoclave implants the importance of sterilization are you actually cleaning it or disinfecting it before sterilization that's an important part because implants are coming from your third parties so are you sure that they are being cleaned properly there should be no blood spots there should be no threads inside the nuts and the screws that you have you should have proof of cleaning just in case if it is difficult to gauge we suggest that you should always do a in house cleaning of this once again and sterilize for infection control ultrasonic cleaners is a very good technology that can be used so that the minor minor small implants uh, instruments and uh, other parts can be cleaned and disinfected very easily it can go to the remotest of the locations where even your hand will not reach uh, jumping to etu ethylene oxide uh, for heat sensitive instruments the cycle time may be around 8 to 12 hours if your manufacturer tells you that the cycle time may be less than 6 hours it's a problematic thing because most of the times aeration time of a eto the time when ethylene oxide actually goes and comes out that may be equal to the sterilization time so eto machines eo is a very carcinogenic gas it has to be phased out completely from your eto once the cycle is complete aeration time is always maximum so cycle time may range from 8 to 12 hours everything can be eto the only problem is it takes a lot of time so we can't do that so heat sensitive instruments in case if you are using ventilator circuits or ambu bag just in case they can always be eto the shelf life is basically dependent upon the storage conditions but one year has been chosen or universally accepted to be a good time one year shelf life for instruments which are packed inside the sterilization reels also if you have a eto kindly ensure that vent of the eto goes 8 feet above your terrace that is the highest point on your terrace and it should be in a separated isolated chamber which an exhaust fan on 24 hours the future developments in sterilization is low temperature plasma which is basically the use of ionized gas to create an electric field it's a rapid 75 minute cycle everything can be done in this a couple of things like coated items cannot be flat, uh, cannot be sterilized in a plasma so eto is used for that plasma machines are very expensive definitely and even the consumables used for that are expensive but slowly slowly indian manufacturers have been able to venture in this field and they have been able to get a good price range of say around 12 to 20 <coughs> for a plasma sterilizer in case of upgradation to see uh, upgradation of your cssd this is just the rough cost of vertical autoclave is between 15 to 50000 rupees a manual semi automatic without the vacuum pump may range from 1 lakh 75 to 3 lakh 50000 and a fully automatic this should be your goal just the way your ot tables and ot lights are getting finer each day by day we suggest that you can always invest in the future for a good fully automatic um, autoclave so it's not that the work cannot be done by a normal autoclave as halogen lamps were also there halogen lights were also there surgeries were done in that now leds also ot lights the work is getting done even led reflector lights the work is getting done but as just the you have better technology available you Hello? can sabka kiya hai sorry ashok you will have to mute yourself ashok ashok can you mute yourself Okay, I, I'll just proceed. So, yeah. tabletop. There are smaller mm-hmm. ETO yeah, machines yeah. also, which are tabletop machines. Okay, not- kisna kisna set here? Yeah. Ashok, yeah. Ashok, 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 we are listening your voice. Can you please mute yourself? Hmm. I think I'll just mute Ashok. Facebook or YouTube. Okay. 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 ultrasonic cleaners between say 1 lakh 55000 to 1 lakh rupees so basic this is basic cost of equipment there are other costs involved which is the capital expenditure for your cssd just in case if you plan to upgrade uh, i think this covers the most part of your autoclaving eto and plasma 
this session is through we will talk about the next session after the after a while